Hello and welcome to today's talk about the CRISPR-Cas9 system, which is often called revolution of gene editing or just simply the gene scissor. I'd like to introduce with the natural version of CRISPR-Cas. CRISPR-Cas originated from an immune system found in bacteria and archaea. It was first discovered in E. coli. But it is quite spectacular how scientists discovered this. Scientists found out that there were viral sequences inside the bacterial genome. You can see the similarity in the blue sequence. CRISPR is short for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats and that describes the CRISPR array. The CRISPR array consists of the spacer DNA, which are viral sequences from former infections. And in between we have these short palindromic repeats. Palindromic sequence means that no matter if you read it from 5 to 3 prime or from 3 to 5 prime direction, you will have the same nucleotide sequence. To explain the process of the CRISPR-Cas immune system, we imagine a bacterium that is attacked by a virus. The bacteriophage injects the viral DNA and now, in response, the Cas genes are transcribed. The Cas protein will take the viral DNA cuts it and inserts it into the bacterial genome. Earlier we mentioned that CRISPR originally is an adaptive immune system. That means it can recognize older infections and respond to it. Let's say the viral infection takes place a second time. Cas genes are transcribed and translated into Cas proteins, again in response. Now also the CRISPR RNA is transcribed. Together they form a complex and with help of the CRISPR RNA target the foreign DNA molecule and cut it to be protected from the viral infection. This system was modified by Jennifer Doudna and Emmanuel Charpentier by creating a powerful method for gene editing probably one of the biggest milestones since the reveal of the double helix. But how is this modified version of CRISPR-Cas9 designed? At first we have the Cas9 enzyme, which has two cleavage sites, making it possible to cut double-stranded DNA. The second component, and this is modified by scientists, is the guide RNA. The guide RNA is a fusion between CRISPR RNA and the tracer RNA. The job of the guide RNA is to find the binding site of interest wherever the DNA should be edited. The double strand can then be cut by the Cas9 nuclease if there is a PAM sequence. In the labs CRISPR Cas9 became one of the most successful tools for knocking out genes. What scientists have to do is just design a guide RNA for specifically targeting the DNA location of interest. It is further possible to insert new genes after the double strand break. This technique is in fact a breakthrough in biology, but we also have to use it in a responsible way. Thanks for watching and if you have some questions feel free to drop them in the comments.